basically, this was built originally as 50 single head pens. So every little bit, there was a gate, every one of these posts. And um, that was meant for the traditional nutrition experiments. And you can't measure feed efficiency um, on a single animal pen because it messes up their behavior and they act much different. So you need them in a group environment. So this technology called Grow Safe, you're probably familiar with it. Leachman's kind of built their own, but really Grow Safe is the name, uh, the, the only game in town really, uh, except for I guess uh, Gallagher down in Australia, New Zealand has a few similar types of things. Um, but uh, when this system became available, uh, the university spent $300,000 and lengthened these pens and spent about uh, 240,000 of that was to put in these bunks. And so there's 24 of these nodes and eight head per node. So we could do somewhere around 185, 210 head of cattle in these six pens. Um, you can see the diet that these cattle are on. It's gonna be kind of this, um, you know, 50 mega cal diet with uh, corn silage, uh, alfalfa, and then whole corn. And we try to get about three to three and a half pounds per day average daily gain on the cattle. And basically over that, um, uh, we typically have the cattle come in for three weeks. They get warmed up and they kind of get used to eating because only four can eat at a time. Um, and then for a 70 day period, we have a test. And we weigh the cattle every two weeks. So we figure out their rate of gain and we collect daily intake or this machine collects it and everything works fine. The challenge is in 90 days, you can only put about 200 head of cattle through. So in a year, you're only gonna do maybe 800 head if you're really, really on your game. Leachman's is actually at a position where they are shortening the period of time the cattle are here in an effort to turn more cattle over acknowledging that the amount of error in the data is a little bit higher than it is if you have a longer test. And they're willing to give up some of that error to put more cattle through the test and, uh, and, and improve their whole program. So uh, some of these cattle are here for a 90 day test with a warm up and some of these cattle, what are you guys doing, 50 days? Uh, 60 basically. 60 with the warm up period. And I think that it's gonna be a good study to see if that's effective. Because this thing will measure um, what we call uh, meal number, so number of meals they eat in a day, meal duration, uh, meal frequency, a whole variety of things relative to their behavior which sheds light on how normally they're acting. And we can have a pen of bulls right next to a pen of steers to see if we can pick up a difference there. So a lot of opportunity with this facility, um, but right now it's mostly used to, to gather genetics related data. Also, I'll just say that uh, you, you pay for feed at cost. Uh, you pay 35 cents per head per day to have your cattle in the pen, and we check the health on them, and, and it, that, that covers that. And then you pay $1.10 or $1.20 per head per day for the data. So each animal, if you're in here 60 days, it's gonna be somewhere around $75 and it, per animal to get their feed efficiency data. So not huge, but certainly uh, a pretty substantial investment. Very few producers at this point are, are putting in.